Good morning, it's Thursday, December 15th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of hope for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, All God's Children. In our scriptures, Galatians chapter 3, where the Apostle Paul writes, For you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus, and all who have been united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ like putting on new clothes. A mixed message is where two or more ideas which contradict each other are both deemed to be valid. If I tell you my team won the game even though the other team scored more points, that's a mixed message. Some mixed messages have greater impact than others. For instance, if I tell you there are about 80,000 spiders on the acre on which your house sits, it could be a relatively interesting bit of trivia. However, if I tell you not to worry about those 80,000 arachnoids who can eat 10% of their body weight daily, and that means if you weigh around 175 pounds, all the spiders on your property could eat only about half of your arm while you sleep tonight, well, that might be a mildly concerning mixed message. One of the deadliest mixed messages is to hear, we're all God's children. There is some truth in the statement, God created humans, and in that sense, we are all his offspring in the biological sense. However, the confusion of spiritual and biological convergence can have eternal significance far beyond whether spiders will be chewing on you tonight. When the Pharisees were looking for a way to convict Jesus of some offense to get rid of him, they claimed their biological heritage as descendants of Abraham as evidence that they were children of God. Jesus disagreed and said so plainly, that they were children of hell. John chapter 8, Jesus told them, If God were your father, you would love me, because I have come to you from God. I am not here on my own, but he sent me. Why can't you understand what I'm saying? It's because you can't even hear me. For you are the children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He's always hated the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, it's consistent with his character. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Jesus also told the Pharisees they would not enter God's presence despite their biological pedigree unless they repented of sins and trusted in him. John chapter 14, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Apostle Paul picked up on this and restated it so that we would have no mixed message about what it means to be a child of God. Romans chapter 8. But you are not controlled by your sinful nature, you are controlled by the Spirit, if you have the Spirit of God living in you. And remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. So, the antidote for the mixed spiritual message sent by the statement, We're all children of God, is to rephrase, You're a child of God if Christ lives in you. For you today, the companion question about being God's child is always on the table for any of us. Have you accepted Christ? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.